welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness, The Panette. Let's play. And we are continuing where we left off from last time, which was building up a new kind of modern army. And the reason why we're building up a new modern army is because, like I said, in the future, we will definitely want to declare war on the UK. And, um, well... Couple things. I have some other things to tell you, but I'll first get done with all the gaming news. So, um, we also were trying to decrease our relationships enough with the UK so that we can get out of this sphere, but I'm a little bit hesitant about that for now because first, before we can do that, we need to first get an alliance with one of the great powers. So, uh, naturally, Russia is going to be my choice because they get British will instantly gain a causes belly against us and that could become very 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 messy very quick cuz I'm not quite ready to fight against the British um, once I get my cannons fully built in every single province we will be ready to fight the British but until then not yet okay let's get back to this oh man why are we making not much yeah I, I should mention right now it's been like a couple days for me so I'm trying to remember what my strategy was because I don't write anything down. Oh yeah, attack support to them utmost. No, that wasn't the plan? Hmm. I was... I know I'm building troops. Yeah, I'm building like tons and tons. Well, the cannons should actually level out once we finish them. Okay. Go right here. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like finish this cannon army and then we'll finish the rest. Because this one, actually, I'm probably gonna have to divide in half because it's a little bit too big to be manageable. So, we will actually have four different armies on our main Peneb place, which will be pretty dang awesome, I think. Okay, let's move this over here. And yeah, we're just still waiting. Just still waiting. Waiting, no, waiting, waiting, waiting for the world to not change. Waiting for the world to not change, because that would really affect us. And we would probably project negative more money that did not. Dang it, I did not go with the syllables, so that did not work. Okay, let's get back to the actual the actual campaign. So, um, one thing I want to mention, guys, that, you know, I've been kind of like... Well, let me just say this. I found it kind of cute that you guys call me Omicron. You know, you know, just kind of a thing, but... Um, I guess I'll just say it now for all my, u my new subscribers, because it's been a while. My name's not actually Omicron. What? No, my name's not actually Omicron. I know in our YouTube... Oh, shoot, I just remember I still got all those saves on from when I was fighting Canada. Yeah, this is a couple days after I recorded my fight for Canada, and I'm not sure if it's up or not yet, so I'm not going to say what happens in that video. But I gotta admit, it ended in a pretty fantastic way. So I should highly suggest you guys go check that out, because I honestly did that all for you guys. And because I honor my traditions of fighting the USA. <laughs> Let's just say that. For Canada, everyone. For Canada. But anyways, um, I found it really, like, kind of cute after a while. You know, like, you guys would call me Omicron and all that. But my name's not actually Omicron. I know that the channel says our name is Omicron. Don't get me wrong. I know that. But our name, we aren't actually, my, bleh, my YouTube name isn't actually Omicron. That's just the channel name. Because um, I kind of envisioned, well... Well, me and Max were kind of originally setting up the channel. We kind of envisioned it being like the Yogg's cast. But we could just add members and disadd members at whim. So, plus there was uh, some other reasons. But, um, Omicron isn't actually my name. My real YouTube name that I will actually take is Shredder James. Or Shredder or Shred or James or any of those combinations. That's actually my real YouTube name. So, you know, I really do appreciate you guys calling me Omicron. You know, it's kind of cool, but um, if you, if I could, could you guys please just start calling me like Shredder or something or James? You know, that'd be really nice. All right, off of that subject, let's see how much we're doing in our army. This one's almost well balanced. This one's not really well balanced. I'm gonna have to deal with that in a second. This one, ah, oh, dang it, dang. Am I gonna have to look at all the supply limit until I can find a good place for this to just hang out? Yep, it's gonna make, it's gonna make me do this. I don't know why I have to do this every single time. Okay, so the policy stands, whatever it is, the policy stands. Okay, you guys go to Quieta, because that seems to be really well supported no matter where I go. Base 32, 
Yeah, that seems really well supported, right? You guys go right there. I think that last cannon right there will be the last final straw. Let's get that going. Let's see. In production, what were we trying to do? We were trying to build our own fabric industry so that we can quell the rebellion in Penebuai or Panjebai. Panjeb or Paneb. It's, it, this must be Panjebai. 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 But the N is probably silent in this too, so it's probably Panjebai? So it's Panabai. 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 Oh, that makes sense. That actually sounds like a cool name. Panabai Paneb. Panabai Paneb. <laughs> Oi. Learning in Indian on the and the interwebs. Quite an interesting experience. Alright, let's get some more relationships with our uh, Russians. Our Russian buddies. Our buddies in this Let's Play, even though we've been pretty much enemies this entire time. We're buddies. Okay, so we got some military. We got some research. Okay, what was I trying to do? Alright. Let's see. I wasn't gonna go down I wasn't gonna go down industry yet because I knew that would actually kill me. Um Do we need to fix our taxes? Mm, I know this would actually be just useless to me. Uh fixing our taxes might be good though. Yeah, let's fix our taxes. Hmm. Yeah. So for any of you guys who think that I have a master plan with all this kind of things, uh nope. <laughs> I just kind of, I just kind of wing it most of the time and see what happens. Ah, uh, that's actually a lie. I'm actually just, I'm actually, this is just all an illusion. I'm just trying to fool you guys to think that I don't know what I'm doing, but really I do know what I'm doing so that you guys don't know that I'm doing what I'm doing. Perfect timing by music. Okay, so right now, uh, we need to start giving up some of our things, so censored press. Yay! Sensor press, okay, so we need to fix now our economy, because it's gonna, okay, there we go, that's what I was thinking of, I knew the poor would come in handy for taxation, I was like, they gotta come, I, I'm pretty sure I did the math all correctly, they should be able to, I should be able to tax them just enough to where they'll be hurting, but my other people, my rich people will not be, okay, because I need middle class people to do what they need to do, which is make factories. Okay, so right now in my main province, I'm encouraging that. Okay, so we need to honestly build more industry. Because right now we aren't really supported by much. I think what I was going to try to do is build a luxurious factory. Well, actually, let me wait for a second. I have to see how much my actual clothing factory will output. Because then I need to know how much I need the input of fabrics. I'm, I think I built this naturally just because a fabric... We need a regular clothes factory just naturally in that area. Okay. Okay, you over here. Because that army's almost completely built. And yeah, this is our new modern Paneb army! Army! Yeah, we basically got this all right. Okay. Alright, yeah, I was definitely going to build. Yeah, now I'm starting to remember this. Um, I'm definitely going to build a. A luxurious factory here so we can have some things I want to use this resource right here the daily inputs would be enough because we import we our production eyes of that resource is about 1.4 that should be a substantial amount for us to start building a luxurious factory daily inputs of cement iron and machine parts is all going to be easily supplied by this that way the economy can start building itself up okay yeah we have our own cement factory, so that makes it easy for us. We don't really need a second one at this point. Not yet. Not yet. And my money is going a little bit wonky, but then it should go back to regular. It's going pretty good right now, so we can actually stop taxing you guys to the fullest amount. You guys got lucky. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Now you guys are unlucky, because you guys went back to negative. And, as I said before, tariffing is not the answer. Hey. Yeah, so many people, so many people want me to tariff sometimes, it's, and I always just like say no, because I honestly just don't believe tariff actually ever helps you in any situations, unless you are desperate. The only way I can see that is if you're desperate and there's nothing else you can really do in your game. Like, if it's just, am I still making soldiers? Okay, well you guys go right there. How many more do I have? That was the last one. Good. So we don't need any more soldiers. This is actually a pretty well balanced army, and it looks like we're doing pretty we're doing pretty good right now. Okay, so Russia, you like us? 
You like? Yes, you do. Uh, I don't think we're going to be anywhere near close to an alliance, though, because we're still... What? I'm actually doing okay in terms of power, actually. How's our friends Persia? Oh, yeah, they civilized. How? You guys lost two wars against me. And you guys got, like, two territories taken away. How'd you guys... Uh, curses. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Curses. So, we gotta be thinking about war with the United... With the UK. I was thinking we'd probably get to that in about two years. That's what my plan was. Um, what we're probably gonna have to do is just move our army in the back and then just take out as many armies as we can. I mean, the main problem is the main European UK army. I mean, we could deal with all the, like, Indian troops and all that, but it's the main UK army that we're really gonna have to worry about. Because that's really where the worry is. Because, I mean, we, we could definitely, I mean, we can honestly deal with all these guys. These guys would be no problem. But it's this army right over there that scares me. So, let's see. Yeah, getting a dig-in formation might help us, but we're going to need to be attacking a, a lot. Guards would not be of any use to us. Yeah, I don't think I was going to take down that. I was... Let's see. I don't think I need administration efficiency. No. Because my administration efficiency is almost at 100% right now. So that would not benefit us in any way, shape, or form. Uh, we do need to find some sulfide deposits. I just remember that. Ooh, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember everything. Yeah, we need some sulfide deposits so we can start productionizing. We need to start making our own canned goods. Canned goods would actually be pretty easy because I think we have lots and lots of uh, regular cattle and stuff. We have some fruit right there, some berries right there, some wheat. Actually, right here would be this right here would be a good place to like build the factory if that is all one region. It is all one region. Thank goodness. This has some fruit, some berries, and some some high amounts of cholesterol. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> uh, some, it's like, it's almost like 10, like 10, 10 o'clock for me. I've had a long day. Uh, sometimes when that happens, I am just trying to figure this all out on live TV. And it's usually quite funny because I usually somehow mess up. All right, let's see. That build a new region? Yes. So I'll be the, where Western Afghanistan starts making our first um, canned factory, which means our soldiers will actually have food. It's actually a good thing. Okay, I'm going to wait for the economy to level out so we know how much we actually have in terms of taxes so I can start decreasing. Okay. I mean, it looks like we still have just a tidy sliver of people that actually... Okay, so we need about... I need about 10. So, I need about 10 per turn. I don't need much more than that. 10, so I'm probably going to have to go to 85, maybe? No, 80. 80 is about good taxes. Okay, get back to the game. Okay. Alright, Russia, we need to get buddy-buddied. You know, if Russia could actually disadd me from the British... Okay, paper. Oh, yeah, paper, paper, paper. Paper would also be a good business. Let's see, you guys would not accept... Um, if our opinion was all the way up, would you guys accept? No, you would need... Our uh, infamy is a problem, I can see that. I could definitely see that. Uh, let's see, though. Let's see if we can make these... Let's see if we can make Russia become friendly with us. Because actually that would really help us. Because then if... Because then if things go wrong with the UK, then that means they would not be able to enter in... Well, not they. Oof, that means they would... The Russians would enter in our war for, you know, being disadded from the sphere of the Great British. That's what we kind of need. And I need to make sure I also keep decreasing my relationships with the Great British. Yep. That should be enough. So when I'm ready, I'll be able to disadd myself from the Great British and be able to establish my own self. Let's see. If I was to go to war, if I was to do it right now, my arm, my entire army would die because I have nothing supported. Not a good time right now, people. Not a good time. Okay, but we have, we definitely do have enough army. That's definitely for sure. Let's see. If I were to extend, no, I don't have enough money. I should wait until I have enough money before I start building anything else. Um, and it's just, it's all enough trying to encourage, like, craftsmen in this business to get any more money. Hmm, okay, 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 so we have diplomacy-wise, so these are the great powers as, at this point, people. Uh, it seems like we have the standard France, UK, USA, North Germany, Austria, 
Russia and Spain. Doesn't really seem like anyone's really different from this list. Except except in the second day palace we have Peneb. Yeah. And we're actually keeping up with a lot of people too because we have a pretty sm badass military right now. And we have 28 land troops which means we would be a threat to most people if we had to. And I could sign a Geneva Convention. But I actually think if we, we could actually use that against the Great British with the 10%, that 10% morale boost could potentially mean the difference between life and death. Between which I'm going to move these guys back just in case if I accidentally like, you know, forget something because we don't want these guys, if we were to go to war, we don't want these guys directly on the border because then the war would just, I don't know, end in tragedy. Uh, how much nutrition are these guys taking? Uh, maximum percent. The population uh, will be enforced with low, and we will get a bonus. But what's ah dang? We're gonna have to keep these guys right here. Well, that's good. It, they're not on the direct border, so I guess we can deal with that. Yeah, you see, like my yeah, that was a bad move. In this in this definitely in this campaign, you have to really, really, really. Oh shoot! I was still doing the uh, administration bill. Oh shoot! Well, maybe we'll have more control over our colonies. Or not colonies, the actual regions, so we can actually do stuff with them. Because right now we only have like very little, little to none control over them. Ah, oh, great. Oh, thank you. The UK still backing us, even though we don't like them. Thank you, UK. Okay, so what do we need? We don't, we don't need culture, analytical philosophy. We need that. And that was actually a good tech to get because then we got a little bit more control over most of our land which is good so maybe it'll help us with a little bit more um, casual stuff okay so we got a basic a basis basic um, supply lines let's see I know there was a place in our in our province where we can build timber I know that let me find that right now right here right here in this place we need to build a timber factory Everybody you guys are wondering, why do I need to build a timber factory? Well, I'm going to build a timber factory, so then this, well, for one, this region's actually producing something, so it can start actually building craftsmen, but then it also starts producing, it can also start producing lumber, which then we can start using to create chairs, which building a domestic economy is what you always have to do. Now, it isn't always good to build every little thing from the ground under, but let's see. Let's see, how, we, how are they doing in spheres? Are we... Dang it, they still haven't... We're at 93. We're at 93%. Come on, Russia, get your stupid spheres in game. I want to be able to break away from... From uh, Great Britain this turn. Let's see, do they have an alliance with Great Britain? No, they do not have an alliance with Great Britain. Okay, probably my alliance with Panev will end. But, you know what? This will be good. This will actually set up a conquest for us. <laughs> because... We'll be able to free ourselves from Great Britain. Great Britain will probably declare war on us because of stupid reasons. Uh, we will try our best to defend ourselves. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it. Don't don't ever quote me on this. And then from there, what we'll do is we'll conquer Sadar, be able to then have seaports, and maybe we'll conquer Oman. Or maybe Ethiopia. Do a little bit of African conquest. I'm not really focusing on it, though. Because that would not be what we're trying to do. We're trying to conquer India. And right now, India is a much bigger colony. A much bigger colony. It's also much more important. Okay. And... Have you guys... Have we been friends? Are we friends yet? We are not friends. You stink, Russia. Come on. Already keep, keep fighting for me. Whatever you do. There we go. So, oh, wait. That's not actually doy. That made me feel kind of stupid there. I just realized that was not... Okay. Well, let's see. Let's go to Peneb, 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 Peneb. We should honestly be one of the highest people on this ratings. Okay, cordial. Actually, this would take so long. So, well, I'm actually going to have to do people, which is kind of scary. So I'm going to have to fight the uh, British um, by myself. Well, that is a good enough cliffhanger for you guys. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, be prepared for the biggest mistake in my life? Question mark? And I'll see you guys next time.